Hi, I'm the bugoutguy.com. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of other people's bug out bags, and I think, you know, the focus of a lot of these guys is they run around like they're some kind of a, you know, soldier of fortune or a commando or something like that. And I really think we need to rethink the bug out bag. And um, so, anyway, here's my uh, bug out bag a little bit rethought. Now, I've got a pillow, because seriously, there's no way I can't, that I can sleep without a pillow. Okay, now I got this in the, in the side pouch, and people laugh at me that I got this small little bottle of uh, Bacardi rum in there. But you know what? I mean, number one, if the world goes to hell in a handbasket, you're going to need a drink. Be frank. And also, other people are going to need a drink, too. So, you know, this is good. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of people that want to, you know, carry an M16 and all this ammo and knives and all this stuff. Well, that's great, but you know what? You know... I don't walk around killing people. I've never killed anybody, so I'm probably not going to start just because I'm bugging out. So, um, one of the things that I know for sure is if you get one of these babies, and if somebody's like, you know, starting to cause trouble and looks like they might become violent, if you just go like this and they hear that sound, I guarantee you they'll run away. There's no way. That sound is. People just run away, just like that. <clears throat> uh, now here's a here's a Duraflame. It's a chemical log. Chemical logs are great. They're easy to start. Um, they're warm. They burn for hours. You know, wood can get wet and all this stuff. This is this baby's wrapped up. This will work for sure. All you need is a lighter to light this. <clears throat> all right. Now here's a, a bottle of Jose Cuervo because, you know, um, I don't know, if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I don't have a hotel room to sleep in, I might need some little, some shots or something to put myself to bed. I don't know about you. A lot of these fights that people get in may be over, uh, you know, maybe there's a long gas line or maybe there's, you know, long lines or you're in a... Uh, you know, the Walmart and you're fighting over the last roll of toilet paper or something like that. Now you may not know this, but I'm a pretty I'm a pretty bad dude in Taekwondo. So if somebody really wants to, you know, to try and cut in front of the line, break out your gear and say, come on, let's go. You know? Let you and me, man to man, let's see who gets to go first in line. So, you know, bring some Taekwondo. Work it out. Here's a bottle of vodka. And vodka's good, um, you can drink it straight, or it goes with just about anything, so that's good to have. Um, I also got a bottle of Bacardi. Bacardi can go with Coke, uh, Bacardi can, you can drink it straight. Um, um, I got some jumbo Ziploc bags, because, you know, you just never know. Uh, what else do I got? Everybody needs beer, and I recommend these, uh, the tall boys, because, you know, if you're bugging out, you need some tall boys. And when these containers are empty, you can also use it for other things, including water and all sorts of other things. I'll leave that to your imagination. Uh, I got some prescription cough medicine that I didn't finish. Uh, lighters. You know, let's say that you're bugging out and you're out there in the middle of nowhere and uh, you're partying with some people. You know, always, always, they take your lighter. I mean, they don't mean to do it, but you know, they light their cigarette and it goes in their pocket. You know, you, you got to have backup. So I got three. Um, I have some condoms. Like I said, you just, you know, you got to be prepared for whatever situation might happen out there. I need to wrap these up, but I got some shot glasses. Those are good. Ooh, aspirin for the next morning. <laughs> After you take all that booze, you're gonna want some aspirin. I could guarantee it. Ta-da! Cigarettes. Okay. If the stuff goes down and you know supply chains are or you know shut down, so let's say you're in Katrina and you've been out there <laughs> for like three days and you smoke. Dude, you would give me anything for these. I keep these in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. So it's time to bug out. I pop these in my, my go bag here and 
Dude, this is money. This is big time money. And hey, if you want to smoke one, you can smoke one too, you know? You might want to calm your nerves a little bit. Uh, glow sticks, light sticks, these are woo! These are cool too. You gotta get some of these. And uh, these are great at night. So, anyway, that's my bug out bag. Um, and you know, hey, let's, let's make it a party. I mean, what, why do we say, oh, oh, a disaster happened, let's, let's all shoot each other. It's like, that's just insanity. It's like, why don't we just make it into a big party, right? It's like, dude, we're fleeing the city, we're camping out, there's people like, you know, sleeping over the tree under there, sleeping under the tree over there, tent over there. It's like, dude, this is, this is, this is our Woodstock. You know what I'm saying? Woohoo!